All right, well, we're back in my kitchen. I looked at the footage from yesterday and I actually ended up really liking it. So we're gonna film probably a couple of videos like this. I have another haul that I know a lot of you guys were waiting for, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Hopefully we can do this in just like one whatever this is just kind of like a fun video for me most of this stuff was purchased pre-quarantine but i did purchase a couple things during quarantine i would say these are the things that i purchased from probably like january to now which it's may so i wanted to show you some close-ups of the stuff that i got in miami and also go over the louis vuitton spring summer collection with you i actually didn't get that much stuff from that collection but i'm still going to show it to you anyway just because I posted it on Instagram and a lot of people had some questions. So I'm gonna be going over all of those today. The biggest piece that I actually got from the spring summer collection is this right here, which is just their cosmetic case. This is the Toiletries 26. And this is something that I knew right away that I wanted just because I had like a vision for how I wanted to wear it, which was inside a clear tote, which is how you guys saw it. I'm not a huge fan of carrying the Toiletries 26 as a clutch. I know a lot of people do that. It's very like bloggery. To me, it looks like a makeup case. It just looks like you're gonna go do your makeup somewhere or sleeping over somebody's house or whatever. So I wanted to carry it in a more like purse way because it's too pretty to kind of just use as a makeup case. If I only use this for travel, I think it would be kind of sad because it's just so like, colorful and beautiful. I really only like the blue. They have the pastel pink and purple and whatever, and then they have the like red and purple. Blue is my favorite color, so of course if I'm gonna get anything from the collection, it's gonna be the blue stuff. The only other thing from this collection that I would have wanted but didn't get would be the keep all. I really, really wanted to get that. You guys know that I have had problems with my keep all since you know, the first week that I got it, it got a hole in it. So I had said that I would never get another one. But when I saw this one come out, I was like, oh, I really, really want it. But it ended up being just like, I think it's too expensive for what it is and just, I don't know, it's a beautiful piece. I would love to have it in my house as like art just to kind of display, but I just decided not to spend the money on it. A lot of the things that I picked from the collection were not expensive pieces, but I feel like worn together, it really gives you a lot of look for the price and you really get the vibe of the collection without spending thousands and thousands of dollars. The only thing I would say that is annoying about this is that they made it kind of cheaply. I mean, it's just very flexible. It's very, it's very kind of flimsy. This one I think they printed specifically like for these pieces because it's actually one piece of canvas that goes all the way around, even though the LV is the right side up on this side and on this side. I have the Monogram 26 and I've had that for many, many years. My brother got that for me for Christmas like 10 years ago and it's held up so beautifully. It did get a little bit softer over time, but it still stands up on its own. This one does not and I would say that is so annoying if you actually want to use it as a toiletries case because you can't sit it on the counter. So even for practicality reasons, I feel like using it as a purse or inside of another purse is just kind of the better way to go about it. So I just slide it down into the tote like that and I think it looks so perfect inside this clear tote. I got this clear tote from Forever 21 like a year ago and they don't have it on the site anymore. People always ask me about it, but this one is so, so, so perfect because I love the round white handles. It really gives kind of like a summer beachy vibe. Plus with this, it goes so perfect because the LV and everything else is white. So I just think that that looks really, I don't know, I think it looks like really legit. I like it a lot. Plus this whole collection, their whole campaign was like beach themed and everything like that. So this is so perfect, I think. You really get the look of like having a bag from the collection, but I think it's better than any of the bags that they actually came out with for the collection. The clear tote's really a game changer because you can kind of make anything into a purse at that point. I've put other things in here before, which you guys have seen on Instagram. And this was actually just such a good little thing to get. This was about $25 at Forever 21, which I thought was kind of expensive for like a plastic clear tote, but apparently that's how much they are. You can probably find other ones on different sites but I just had seen this one in person and ended up picking it up and then I also picked up two scarves from the collection so the first one is this bandeau right here and you guys have seen me wear this in my hair and a lot of people were asking me how I tied it I do plan on doing a video showing you all of the ways that I tied the scarves and stuff like that for my outfits but this is really really simple to be honest with you you just kind of knot it in the front on your forehead and then all I did was tuck in the little tails behind the rest of the bandeau and it gave me like a really cool headband look. And I think this would look nice tied even with like the hairstyle that I 
have today. I'm not gonna do it now. Um, it doesn't come knotted, but I knotted it so perfectly last time that I'm like afraid to undo it because not every time I try it, it comes out perfect. But anyway, I really, really like this. I've had bandeaus in the past and I had no idea really what to do with them. All of the ones that I've had before I've sold because I can't figure out like a good thing to do with them. I know a lot of people like to use them on their bag or to tie them around the handles. And I like that for the BB bandos, but not these ones with the square little tails. Like to me, I think this looks kind of weird hanging off a bag. I've seen a lot of videos also where people list off all of the different ways you can wear a bandeau and I never really liked it. Like people were like, you could wear it as a neck scarf or in your ponytail or as a bracelet or as a belt. And to me, none of those really look they just don't look effortless to me. They look like you're really trying to make this bandeau happen and it's not happening. So I think worn as a headband, for me, it looked the best and the most like natural looking. I don't know, I don't, I don't really know how I'm trying to phrase it, but just, I think it looked the most normal that way. So I really, really like that and I for sure wanna get other ones. I wanna get, I think the black, white, and gold one of this one. This is the confidential like style. So it's got like the chains and the LVs on it and stuff like that. Um, so I want to get that because that would even look nice with today's outfit. So it's definitely on my list. I'm not trying to buy like a million of them right now though because they are $200 a piece. They're $195. So it's not cheap. I'm going to go through and tell you some of the prices if I know them. But because Louis Vuitton keeps having price increases, I cannot keep up with all of the stuff. So I'll either write it here or put it in the info box below for you. But I know a lot of the other pieces that I'm going to show you have had price increases. The scarves actually have not gone up. So that's kind of a plus, but they are still very expensive. These are 100% silk and I believe they're all made in Italy. I also picked up the full size silk square. So you guys saw this on Instagram and I wore this as a shirt. I know a lot of people were asking me how I tied it. It was actually super, super easy. I just folded it in half, kind of like triangle style, then tied it around and then tied it in the front. I will do a full video, like I said, on how I did it, but that's basically how I did it. It's really easy. Like once you play around with it, you'll figure it out. There's also a ton of really good videos on YouTube. I'll link some of them down below that I liked on how to wear a scarf as a shirt. There's a ton of different ways. I liked the way I wore it just because even though it was still wearing a scarf as a shirt, it was still a little bit more covered up. You really didn't see any midriff or anything like that, which sometimes I like, but sometimes I want to be a little bit more covered. And I think a lot of the other ways that they show online are very like, it's, it's kind of just like wearing a bandeau. But anyway, I will link the videos that I found most helpful for you down below, but I do really like this. Again, the color is a big reason why I wanted this. And also because I knew I wanted to wear it as a shirt. I think these big scarves, are very versatile. I'm just kind of finding my way with them as far as how I like to wear them. And you know, as a shirt, as a headscarf, as a headband, on my purse as like an accessory, you can wear it as a bathing suit cover up at the bottom, like kind of like a sarong style thing. Although that one I probably wouldn't recommend just because you would hate to snag this and believe me, it can happen. So I would be a little bit more careful just because they are expensive. These are $485 and so you don't wanna be like wearing it around your waist and then sitting on things, you know? So you can wear it like that, but I probably wouldn't suggest it just because they're so expensive. And that's everything that I got from the spring summer collection. I really didn't end up spending like as a whole that much money considering the price of the different things from the collection. I feel like I got a lot of look, a lot of like outfit and a lot of options with spending like the minimum. I mean, it's all expensive. It's Louis Vuitton, but compared to buying like one bag. I feel like I got a more cohesive look than just buying like one purse. I also picked this up, which is from the men's line, but I always like to get these. They are the little pocket organizers. I already told you my favorite color is blue. I really, really love it. And it came in an orange as well, which I also liked, but I didn't want to buy two of the same thing. And I didn't want to buy the like coin card holder either because I already have that in a different color that I prefer over the orange. So I decided to skip the orange completely and just go with this. I apparently didn't take my cards out of it, so I can't really show you the full inside, but this is really good. I keep some cards in here because these can get a little bit deflated. So even if I'm not using it, I like to put a few things in there just to kind of keep the shape. This is the other card holder that I was talking about. Why I didn't want to get it again in the Lagoon Blue or in the orange because I already have it in this color. And I think personally, that this color is the best color that it ended up coming in. It's just, it's so good. Look how good they look together. 
I absolutely love this. I love it so much that I actually bought a backup of it. I prefer the layout of this way more than this, but I do still enjoy the pocket organizer. You guys know that I've had these for years. I've got a bunch of them. Usually if a new collection comes out and I only wanna get one small piece from it, then I will try and get the pocket organizer if it's like one of the men's collection. Cause when things come out in the men's line, there's only so many things I would want. I'm not really like a messenger bag type of girl. The men's belts are too big. I don't need a million backpacks. So I'm really kind of limited to the things that I would want to get from the men's collections. So normally a pocket organizer is a really good, you know, safe option. But the layout on this one, which is also men's collection actually, is just so good and also they did a black zipper so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty it's got a um, little slip pocket back here which does not fit bills not folded american bills it's got four card slots in the front and then the whole inside opens up and you can put more cards in there if you need to so i really like that because i am just like I'm always throwing shit in there. So I really, really like this and definitely recommend it in any of the colors. I personally just like this yellow green one the best, but I would say if you like any of the other colors, definitely get them. I really love the functionality of this piece. Another thing I wanted to show you are these earrings. So I showed them in a previous video. These are the Louis Vuitton Louise earrings, and these were such a good purchase. I purchased these right before quarantine, and I had been wanting them for like a year, but I was like, oh, I think they're gonna be too small or like I won't like them. I love them. They're like my favorite earrings right now. I think they might be my favorite earrings. I wear them pretty much every day. Um, if they if they go with my outfit, if it's too much, then I won't wear them. But they're really, really good. I like them. I highly recommend them. Unfortunately, these have gone up in price as well, but I just think they're really good. I really drag my feet on getting them. And since I got them, I've been wearing them nonstop. I actually wore them out of the store because I just love them so much. So highly recommend those. Also before quarantine, I purchased a pair of sunglasses. Normally I don't go crazy for Louis Vuitton sunglasses because I think they're highly overpriced for what they are, but I tried these on just for fun and then I ended up liking them. So these are from the men's collection actually, but I think they're really cool. You guys have seen these on Instagram. I'll try to do a close up for you so you can see, but they are just like a plastic, frame and these have gone off in price as well but they have the Louis Vuitton monogram etched into the lens another item I've been getting a lot of questions on is this belt right here so this is the daily multi pocket belt or something like that and I picked this up pre quarantine I think that this has gone up in price but it doesn't seem like it went up that much I don't know I'd have to look at the receipt to be honest I like things that are kind of different or that you would bring back in like 20 years and be like oh my gosh where did you get that like I love that so that's kind of what I look for when I am considering like unique pieces and stuff like that and it's part of the reason why I feel like I'm not into a ton of bags right now like a lot of the stuff that's come out from Louis Vuitton and Chanel have not been things that I can see myself you know in 20 years or when I have kids then being like oh my gosh can I use that you know I like things that will be like a cool vintage piece I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone but that's kind of like my mindset going into getting certain pieces and I felt like this kind of was just because it was so different the base of this is actually just a regular belt that they sell so I believe this is called like the daily belt or something like that it's got kind of like the medium size monogram some of the mini monogram and then this has like mini monogram into the metal. This comes with three detachable pieces that are all functional. So it has the round coin purse. That's just like that. This is a little bit smaller than your regular round coin purse. It also has a little pocket in the front, which is a real pocket. I don't know what you would keep in there, a quarter. I don't know, like what would fit in there. It's mostly just for looks. This is a detachable key ring. And then this pocket is the one that I normally use the most because this holds pretty much, you know, kind of a lot of stuff. So that's what it looks like inside and it will hold cards, cash, lip gloss, my keys. Obviously it doesn't hold my phone, but I know probably someone will ask me. You would be surprised on how many people ask me like, oh, does it fit a phone? And it'd be like this big, like, no, what? No, just no. So there's that. It's really great for like walking the dogs, a little bit extra for walking the dogs, but I will use this for walking the dogs when I'm running errands, if I don't feel like carrying a bag or anything like that. But for the most part, I got it for the look of it. I would say you probably would get more use out of like a regular purse, but if you're looking for a unique piece to add to your collection, I think that this is kind of a cool one. And then you guys know, of course, I did get some swimwear when I was in Miami. So I got this one piece, which I absolutely love. I've been wearing it as a bodysuit, as I've told you guys before. That's kind of like my thing right now. And uh, I really wanted to get my money's worth out of it because it's so expensive. Although I will say they have gone up $100 since I got them in February. So, I mean, I don't know if I would... 
I don't know if I'd repurchase it now, but I'm really happy with this one because I got the black and white. Right now they've got the blue and white, which is still nice, but black and white's just a little bit more versatile, especially if you're gonna be using it as clothes. So that's what that one looks like. And in this, I got a French size 38. It's a little bit big in the waist, but these are very tight in the bust, so I don't think I could have I don't think I could have gone with a different size I also ended up buying the bikini that is from the same print I'm actually wearing the bikini top right now and this again I got in Miami I would say I like having Louis Vuitton bikinis but the fit is just never right with either piece so I bought a size French 38 in the top as well the issue that I have with it is that the straps are very skinny as you can see like here they're also the same way on the side so if you have at all any back fat or like side bra fat whatever it is it will be popping out also the cups on these are small but they're not adjustable so what i mean by that is the cups are sewn to the band you cannot slide them to bring them closer or further apart so your boobs either work in it or they don't i don't want to undo it just in case like it messes something up but that's something to kind of keep in mind i would say if you have a store that sells the ready to wear swimwear try it on also the straps are very long i feel like for the size of this cup those are not adjustable up and down they do slide back and forth on the band like the back slides why does that make sense like the back slides with the front doesn't i don't know so to make it a little bit tighter you can slide them all the way to the back but i mean it only does so much so definitely try them on i also did end up buying the bikini bottoms just because i started to have some fomo i originally had bought the top i knew i didn't like the cut of the bottom but i was like i'll just buy the top and then i'll wear whatever bottom that i want like a thong bikini bottom whatever because it's black and white i'll just wear a black bottom and then i don't know i just got worried about it and i ended up buying the bikini bottoms so they look like this as you can see i've not worn them yet because where are we going right now but it's a very it's kind of like a modest cut in the back the bikini bottoms from Louis Vuitton run so freaking weird so i have them actually in two sizes because this is like i know it's ridiculous but i had to because i bought it in a size 38 because i thought okay i take the one piece in a size 38 and it's not tight and then when I got the 38, I was like, I don't really know if I like how this fits, so I ended up buying the 40 as well. I would say they both have their pros and cons, which is why I still have both of them. The 38, I think, fits me best around the waist, but it cuts off my butt cheeks some. So I was like, all right, well, let me go up a size then. So I got the 40. The 40 is like a little bit too big and the 38 is a little bit too small. So the cut on this is very, very strange on both of these. It has a lot of extra space in this back. You can actually almost see it with it just hanging here. It's got a lot of extra space in this lower back area, which is what the problem is. So these are meant to be worn pretty low rise, I think, because that's the only way that it really works on me. So for the most part, I would say the 40 probably fits me a little bit easier because I don't really have to worry about anything. I've got a little bit of gap in the back. It's almost like when you wear a pair of jeans and you get the gap in the back. That's what it's like, but on a bikini bottom, which doesn't make sense. Anyway, I think the size 38 would probably fit me best if I lost some weight. But as of now, it does cut a little bit into the butt cheeks. So we ended up going with the size 40, but then if I lose weight, the 40 is gonna be way too big because it's already kind of big now. So anyway, you can see my dilemma on why I had to get both of them because I didn't want to end up, you know, five years from now and people be like, that's a great bikini, but like, too bad you don't have the bottoms. And I'd be like, I know, now it's impossible to find them. So I ended up having to get both of them. That's my story. Probably didn't care to hear it, but and then the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is another scarf. So this one is my absolute favorite. You guys have seen this on Instagram as well. This was a collaboration that they did last year with the artist Jonas Wood, who I did not know who he was, I apologize. I'm not really a modern art kind of girl, but I guess he designed a bunch of scarves and shawls for Louis Vuitton, and this was one of the designs that he did. This also comes in pink if you're more of a pink girl, but you guys know I had to go with the blue. And I just think that this looks so good with a tan, I just, it makes me think of vacation. I really, really like it. I just think it's so perfect. The blue is so good on it. It's got dinosaurs, it's got basketball. It's just like, I love it so much. So they do still have this on the website and it is available in stores a lot of places, even though it was from last year and it was a limited edition collection. I don't think it was very popular. And I can understand where if you're a girlier girl or maybe you're like an older, woman you would be like why are my basketballs on here like it doesn't make sense to me but for someone like me who loves basketball this is just 
It's just so good. The only way they could have done something that made me love it even more is if they had Shiva's on it and like some kind of ancient Egyptian something. I love this so much. I think this makes a really great headscarf like for that vacation-y vibe. You could also wear this one as a shirt or as a bathing suit cover up, which again, like I said, I wouldn't recommend that one as much, but as a shirt, I think it's really cool. I had gotten this knowing that I wanted to really enjoy it and not worry about it so much. I didn't want to let it sit in a box and then, you know, when I'm 80, look at it and be like, man, I wish I would have worn that scarf. So I wanted to enjoy it and just kind of get my money's worth out of it. Um, I enjoyed it a little bit too much, I will say. I have like a big pull in it. I don't know if you can see it from there. I also got some like grease stains on it somehow from something I was cooking, which who would have thought that would have happened, quarantine? I don't even know how that happened because they were not close to one another. Like, I didn't think they were that close to one another, but yeah, this has kind of been through it already. This is something to keep in mind if you are thinking about incorporating some scarves into your collection and you're gonna wear them like this and you're gonna you know, enjoy them. This scarf is not as busy as some of the other scarves. A lot of scarves have a lot of stuff going on and you can't really tell what's what. This one has a lot of blank empty space that is a pale color so that I feel like is the reason why you would notice it a lot more and it's something that I I honestly couldn't imagine me messing this scarf up that bad because you guys know me I'm pretty careful with my stuff even if I'm trying to not baby it a lot of people like if you ever buy something of mine people are like it looks like it's never even been used and I'm like I know I've had it for like five years what's wrong with me so I was really surprised that I messed this up so bad or like to me I messed it up so bad but I I knew I wanted to wear, I wanted to enjoy it all summer, like with summer coming up if we we're allowed out of our houses. And uh, you know, I was like, all right, I just wanna use it. I didn't think it would be this used this quickly. I hate that I'm like this with the backups, but I just love this scarf so much, it's my favorite one. So I did end up purchasing a second one. And I do plan on using this. I'm not going to just let this one sit in the box. I'm gonna probably wear them together just to be ridiculous because it's like kind of a flex. But I just, I want to make sure that I get my money's worth out of it. I'll just be more careful with this one and I will use it in a way that is like less likely to get hurt. But I do want to enjoy both of them while I can. So I did purchase a second one, which I know is ridiculous, but it left me no choice because I just, the big pull in it is really what killed me with it. So that is everything for my Louis Vuitton haul. Hopefully I don't have to try and record this again because I don't know if it will happen, but I will go ahead and link every item for you in the info box. If there's no link available, I will just type out what it is and what size I took, just so you have it for reference in case I didn't mention it in the video or it kind of like went by you and you don't wanna scroll back through the whole video. So anyway, I will leave that there for you, so be sure and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're hanging in there and I will talk to you hopefully very soon. Bye.